what's up sailor guardians my name's sailor snubs welcome to my youtube channel today we are unboxing a huge haul from japan everything in this haul came from japan either from previous releases or releases that happened this year if any of these items are still available for purchase i will put links down below where you can find them but of course if you have any questions about how to purchase any of these items yourself you can always reach out to me directly via comments so let's go ahead and get started i will walk you through each of these items and also review them as we go. This adorable Luna plushie came from an Ichiban Kuji collaboration. This was from the Dreamy Colors collection Ichiban Kuji, and this item was the A prize. I love that she has little toe beans. They are so cute. And she has little footsie toe beans as well. Her eyes are closed. You can tell that she's having a wonderful dream. And this purple lavender color just speaks to me on so many levels. This is definitely going in my little plushie collection. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I also finally caught up on these Sophie Mates or Sophie Mutts. These little releases, these Sophie Mates are a couple of different figures that came out in Japan. However, you could find them here in America as well really easily. I believe Hot Topic had them available online. Previously, we got one of Luna with red eyes. However, this one has blue eyes to more match with Sailor Moon Cosmos and the newer line of the anime. These are very, very inexpensive versions of the cats that you can collect super easily. So if you can find these in stores, I would recommend grabbing them because they look really cute and they're just so inexpensive. So here we have the Luna Sophie mates and you can tell that she has this really cute expression on her face. She's made out of plastic and this is a fairly lightweight and really cute figure and she does have toe beans. She is also complimented by Artemis and Diana. So here we have Artemis with cute green eyes. He also looks adorable and has his little toe beans. I love his tail, he's adorable. Little top heavy with those big heads. And little Luna with her adorable little collar and her bell. And her toe beans. <laughs> I don't know why, but y'all, I love seeing toe beans. They're so cute. Anyway, moving on. Uh, this is to add to my current Pal Dolce collection. There are three of these in the line. The newest one that I have is Artemis. However, I'm just gonna keep an eye out for Diana. I'll add her eventually. They're so inexpensive. I'm not too worried about collecting them super quickly or anything. They're not going to sell out. But here we have Artemis. He's sitting on a macaroon and the macaroon ironically or unironically is the colors of sailor venus i kind of love that that's such a smart idea so he's looking so cute next i have a whole series of blind bag acrylics so these are from a few different collections uh, i did open the blind bags on my social media as well as short little videos so if you watch those you have already seen these but this one features all the inner sailor guardians Sailor Chibi Chibi Moon, and then we have the Anima Mates, Siren, Iron Mouse, Blood Crow, Tinyanko, and Heavy Metal Papillon. She's also represented, and I love that. So cool. I have a few of Galaxia. So here we have this gorgeous one of Galaxia, Sailor Galaxia, Lead Crow again, Tinyanko. And that's it for that one. I just got four of those. I really wanted to grab these ones of the Death Busters. So I have Mistress Nine. Of course, we have Professor Tomoe. Yudail, Mimete, Telu, Puloi, Petitololo. I'd never know how to say her name. And Cyprine. So cool. They look so good too. I love the Death Busters. Favorite enemies, they're ridiculous and awesome. Blind bag stickers that were sold at the Sailor Moon store. I have all these. There's Mistress Nine, my fave. Then I have the ones for Galaxia and the Anima Mates. They're really cute. I don't have all of those. And I also picked these ones up online and I got the full set. These are really adorable. I love their casual outfits. They're so cute. This is a pretty heavy, big series of all the supers enemies from, of course, the Dead Moon Circus. Pada pala, sere sere, jin jin, fez fez. And then we have Tiger's Eye, Hawk's Eye, and Fish Eye. 
very cool. So those are really cool. I enjoy those a lot, but I wish they weren't blind bagged. So as long as I can get each of the characters, I'm happy. But once I end up with like two or three duplicates, I'm like, all right, now I have to figure out what to do with these. If you watched my recent Premico Premium collaboration that had to do with a lot of art from Japan, uh, this is very similar to that and was also released on the same website. So both of these items come from a line of Arita Wear. I believe these are a couple of teacup and saucer sets that I had ordered. Man, I am so glad that these arrived and they weren't broken. They're so pretty. Okay, so here's the blue Arita Wear teacup and saucer set. So here we have this beautiful, beautiful teacup with gold foil around the edges. All the outer Sailor Guardians are represented on here with their planetary signs. And we also have this beautiful print on the interior. That's gorgeous. The plate is absolutely stunning. I love the intricate details that are going into this plate and all the pieces of art. It is so pretty. On the interior of this one, we have the same print, which features all the planetary symbols. Then the outer edges of this design have the inner Sailor Guardians represented. This is a really, really pretty teacup. This one features a print of the Eternal Moon article, and then we have the inner Sailor Guardians represented around this plate. This is so, so stunning. I can't wait to display these. They're so pretty. Well done. Oh my gosh. So fancy. I have a whole slew of Sailor Cosmos goodies that I am so excited to add to my collection. This is a Sailor Moon masking tape that features all of the Sailor Guardians on it. Super, super cute in their little chibi outfits. I also grabbed this set of four. There were actually several other ones, but I got four of these really cute little bag hangers. Each of these keychains does come with a nice little loop so you can put it on your lanyard, you can put it on your bag, wherever you want. So I ended up getting Eternal Sailor Moon, Sailor Starfighter, Sailor Cosmos, and Sailor Chibi Chibi Moon. And I think each of them are so adorable. One thing I collect a lot of are these really cute Tsumsums or Otedamas. So I do have a whole bunch of new Otedamas. Here we have Sailor Chibi Chibi Moon. She's got little wings on her, so cute. Sailor Cosmos, of course. I love her rainbow little apron. That's all the vibes. So cool. Princess Kakyu. She's so cute with her little hat. We have the Sailor Stars. These are in their Earth outfits, their Earth identities. So these are the identities that you see when they are idols. I also was able to snag Galaxia. So here's Sailor Galaxia in her super shiny gold uniform. We have Chibi Chibi in her cute little school uniform. Little Chibi Chibi, she's so cute. Can't help myself, they're so adorable. Here we have Chibi Moon's guardians. So we have Vez Vez, Pala Pala, Sea Sea, and Jun Jun. I also picked up Sailor Galaxia's soldiers. They're very adorable, so cute. Here we have the Sailor Stars again in their idol uniforms. We have the school uniforms. These are their idol uniforms. And I was also able to get the Sailor Anima Mates. We have each of the five Anima Mates from Sailor Moon Cosmos. Look at her cute little butterfly bow. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. I love her butterfly wings. Sailor Lead Crow has her crow wings. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. This acrylic figure set of the Sailor Starlights in their idol uniforms, their idol identities is really cool. And I also picked up this Sailor Moon Store exclusive Dream Mirror keychain. So pretty and I love that it's actually a mirror. These were little blind bags so I did get a couple of duplicates so here we have eternal sailor jupiter cute little chibi version sailor starfighter I have eternal sailor mars I got sailor cosmos she was the one I was after so I'm so happy that I was able to get her I got taiki eternal sailor saturn another one I really wanted and eternal sailor uranus they're so cute I love these little stickers this is a jewelry box these were available at the sailor moon store and surprisingly they did not sell out very quickly even though they're really really pretty so these little jewelry cases are pretty small little teeny tiny things you could like put a ring in here or a pair of earrings if you wanted to a small pair of earrings but the top of these are very very shiny the center of the eternal moon article is actually see-through which i appreciate i thought that was a nice little touch this little metal piece pops right into the hole at the bottom of the heart to keep it steady and to keep it from moving around. There's a sparkly little star in the center of the Eternal Moon article. And yeah, it's just a simple little piece. It's quite heavy, very well made. 
and just a nice little piece that you could display. I also picked up this limited edition Sailor Moon Cosmos glass. This is simplistic, but it's just a nice little tumbler glass. I think it would be great for, you know, drinks on ice. Super pretty. And then we have something I was really looking forward to. This is the Sailor Moon Store fifth anniversary watch, which came out last year. This watch is stunning. And you can see that mine currently works. So it hasn't run out of batteries just yet. Each of these is limited edition. So there is an edition number on the Sailor Moon Store watch. This one is made out of really nice, it almost feels like leather. Maybe it is leather, but it doesn't smell like leather. Maybe it's fake leather, but these do feel like nice high quality wrist straps. They've got a pretty pearlescent sheen to them. And then we have Sailor Moon's Eternal Moon article right here in the center. This is super sparkly and it has a lot of gemstones on the external part of it. And you can open it to view the time if you want to. I love that you can see the time in there. It's very, very pretty. This is a really beautiful piece. If you wanna wear a watch, you don't want a smart watch, this is gorgeous. I think this is another piece of jewelry. Ooh, yeah, it is. <gasps> wow. This was another piece of jewelry that was released over the last year. This is a Premico item. Ooh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Wow, oh geez, this is so pretty. <laughs> That's gonna be one of my favorite pieces, I can already tell. This comes with a beautiful silver necklace. And apparently this is like hand etched, but this features the Ginzui Show, Sailor Moon's crystal, with the Eternal Moon article up at the top. It's quite big, and there's a lot of intricate detailing going into this legendary silver crystal, this Ginzui Show. You can really tell from the back how each of these pieces of the flower of the lotus is formed. It's really quite stunning. I love this piece. It's not super heavy either, so this would be very, very easy to wear if you want a piece that's a little bit more loud, not so subtle. This is gorgeous. I'm impressed. What do you think? So a couple of the more fun items I got were these that were resold via reseller marketplaces. This is a popcorn bucket. It is Luna's head as a popcorn bucket. It came with a couple of straps so you could wear it if you wanted to. And this strap is adjustable. So what they would do is ask you if you actually wanted popcorn in here, but you could put popcorn in the back of her in the back of her head, of all places. It's so cute though. It's so adorable. I love how kawaii her, her face is, her cute little expression. So I was like, I have to have this popcorn bucket. I have like other Asian releases from the theaters whenever the movies came out. So I was like, I have to have that. This was also released in the theater. It is a cup holder and that features, of course, the Eternal Moon article. On the back of it, it says Sailor Moon Cosmos. One of the other items I picked up and I'm gonna do a separate video of this is the Eternal Moon article Proplica. So this came out quite some time ago and I just haven't had the time to unbox it yet. So I'll do a separate video of this, reviewing it and showing you how it works but it looks pretty awesome. I wasn't super impressed with it when I first saw it because it's based off of Cosmos, which looks very different from the traditional 1990s anime that I was hoping we would get a proplica of, but I am glad that we finally have these proplicas coming out from Sailor Moon Stars, so I'm not gonna complain too much. I ended up getting a whole series of items that came out with the Pretty Guardians fan club in Japan, which I am a part of. And a few of these items were given to me by friends. So I have volume number 27 of the Pretty Guardians newsletter, which features a bunch of information about what's going on in the Sailor Moon community and fandom. This postcard also came with the newsletter, which I thought was a nice little freebie add-on. This is like a plastic folder for all the newsletters. So I got the one for the Outer Guardians as well as the envelope for the Inner Guardian newsletters. These are really great for storing all of those newsletters since they come out like quarterly. I have lots and lots of membership cards now, one for every single year I've been a Pretty Guardian member, which has been since the beginning. So I can put all of my membership cards in this, this is a little envelope holder for all of your cards. And this is what the membership card for the last year looks like. It's super pretty and it features this gorgeous piece of manga art. 
of all of the Sailor Guardians. It's one of my favorite pieces. This is a lanyard keychain that was an exclusive to theaters. Loved it. I ended up getting it online through the marketplace that was selling these. So this features each of the Sailor Starlights. The three lights, so cool. It's really pretty. Got a couple more acrylic stands, one featuring Eternal Sailor Moon and Sailor Chibi Moon, as well as the Sailor Starlights. Cool, 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 cool. These are some little keychains that came out at the Sailor Moon store. I love both of them. I think they look so pretty and the sparkly gemstones are super, super shiny. A trio of very simple can badges also released at the theaters as special merchandise. This keychain is absolutely gorgeous of the Eternal Moon article. These metal bookmarks are so, so pretty. I had to have them as soon as I saw them. I was like, oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. This one, especially of the Eternal Moon article with the pink stained glass is just so cool. And this one with the multicolored stained glass is, they're just beautiful. I love these pieces. And of course, how could I not, even though this released on streaming and you can stream it on places like Google Music, I wanted to get the physical copy of the Sailor Moon Cosmos movie collection music. This features a lot of music from the movie. In fact, there are five different songs on here and the Blu-ray features a music video apparently. I actually want to open this and take a look at the inside. So there is an OB that goes on the CD. Oh, I see. So here we have the theme song collection and on the back, this is the Blu-ray. So this has the music video on it. That's cool. I'm so glad that's included. If we take a look at the booklet. Oh, nice. It has the lyrics for the songs and a little bit of information about the stuff. Here's some random stuff I was able to pick up from different places, including Japan as well. This is actually from the Tamashi Nation store in New York, but it was originally released in Japan. This is a very special limited edition version of Sailor Moon from the SH Figu Arts line. And this is a special color edition that was only released in the Tamashi Nation store. So you had to go to the store to grab one of these or use a reseller online. So I ended up grabbing one from here in America because the price was quite fair, but you could also find these at the one in Japan. Here we have a pair of stamps. Now I wanted to show you these too. So there were a few different stamps that came out this year through the Japanese post office, apparently. This one features Eternal Sailor Moon and a little silhouette of Luna as well. It is made out of this really nice metal. And what you can do is change the date that is shown on the front of these. So for example, this one currently says 6.30 23 so I can raise this up or down and then twist to find the number for the day so you can change it to be a calendar stamp really cool really interesting and quite a unique little piece this one works very similarly and it also has the date stamps on the bottom so you raise it to change the date and then just twist the knobs in order to find the date that you want to show on the bottom of the stamp. Now this stamp features Luna, Artemis, and Diana. And this item was not new. In fact, I'm not really sure where I got it from. <laughs> Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Crystal Power Nail Shiner. It's supposed to be a product that you can use to buff your nails and to make them shinier. So it does come with a few different pieces. I think this is to push back your cuticles. This is a buffing pad. Yeah, we have the three different types of pads that you can use on the top of your nails to shine them out. And then these are a bit more like sandpaper. I'll have to read up on how to use this, but apparently it does have a few different settings. So you remove the top cap and then you raise it or lower it and you have to add your own batteries to the bottom. It also comes with this handy, cute little bag for all the little accessories. So moving right along with my sealer Sailor Moon Cosmos collaboration items. I have this really cute clear file that features the same artwork that we saw on that CD. We have these really beautiful metallic stickers. I love these stickers that feature all of the chibi Sailor Guardians. I was also able to snag this metallic set of stickers of each of the Sailor Guardians as well. This pair of pamphlets I will have to open and go through on a separate video because they're quite thick, but these pamphlets were only available available at the theater for Sailor Moon Cosmos part one and part two. So here we have, I think this is part two and this one is probably part one. Each of these pamphlets features a whole bunch of information about the movies as well as pictures and screenshots. This set of three clear files is super pretty. Here we have the logo for the movie, the Sailor Moon Cosmos movie, as well as a bunch of 
pictures of the Sailor Guardians. This set of clear files includes one of the Sailor Starlights and one of the Sailor Guardians, and it is two-sided, so we have the outers over here. Turn it around, and you have the inners on the other side and the Sailor Starlights on the back. This is a special filing folder just for the pamphlets that I just showed you. These folders are really, really nicely made. They're plastic, and I feel like they're excellent for storage and for longevity of collection items. So there are two sleeves for each of the pamphlets and the back of it says Sailor Moon Cosmos. This acrylic stand set features, of course, Eternal Sailor Moon, as well as the Sailor Starlights. This is a flyer that was given out for free in Japan, but I was able to get one, I think, through a reseller. It is two-sided and it also opens. So this two-sided pamphlet also opens to show you a bunch of screenshots from the movie, as well as this beautiful, beautiful double-sided image of Tokyo's skyline. It's really gorgeous. I love that. This is a really special art book that came out with the movies and it also features a clear file that was given away if you purchased this, I believe through the Pretty Guardians website. So I was able to get the little freebie add-on, but I love this book. It's so beautiful and I can't wait to go through it. I also picked up this, I think this is a trio of clear files that features chibi Sailor Guardians. This is a 1000 piece puzzle that came out at the Sailor Moon store. This features some really beautiful art of all of the Sailor Guardians. I can't wait to put this together. I'll probably do it with my mother-in-law because she also loves putting puzzles together and she's really good at them. Have you ever owned a learning timer? This is something new for me, but it's called a Sailor Moon learning timer. And apparently it's good for if you're working on homework, I guess. I'll have to learn how to use this because I feel like this might be really good for focusing, but I have, I like having this little electronic item from the Sailor Moon store. So I'm gonna have to learn how to use this thing, this little learning timer. Let's check out some items from a couple of collaborations. One was with a company called Three Coins, which apparently is like a dollar store. The other one was with Hana Biori, which is a flower garden located near Tokyo. So each of them came out with different kinds of merch and I collected a few items from each of those collaborations. So first we have Three Coins. I did get a couple of masking tapes. This one features each of the Sailor Guardians and this one has screenshots from the movies. This is the Eternal Moon article. I believe this is a compact that you can use. Let's open it. It's cold, like it's made out of metal. That's surprising. I was expecting it to be plastic because these things were so inexpensive, but this is, this feels like metal. So this is the Eternal Moon article and it, yes, it is a makeup compact. So we have a two-sided mirror on the interior of this. Wow. Wow, that's way nicer than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be plastic, but this is like heavy duty. That's cool. Okay. Three Coins also came out with a couple of zippered little pouches that you could purchase. So these are a couple of zippered pouches. I love that they feature images from Sailor Moon Cosmos. We have Eternal Sailor Moon here and Usagi with Mamu on the other one. This is a series of sticky notes. There's a whole bunch in here. I tend to use these a lot in my business. So I like having a series of sticky notes that I can use. I believe this is just a whole slew of stickers inside this little pouch, also from Three Coins. We have a beautiful clear file folder from Three Coins. This one does have a holographic sheen to it. So it's kind of sparkly in a sense. You can kind of see it in the video. And then I got this eco bag. I think this is an eco bag like one you can reuse. Yes, it is. It's like a really cute shopping bag. You can tell that it's kind of cheap. It's a very, very thin material, but oh, it's so shiny. It says Sailor Moon Cosmos at the bottom. And then we have this cool print of Eternal Sailor Moon on the front. Oh, and we also have a print on the back too. That's really cool. Checking out some of the Hana Biori items. We have a beautiful stand of Eternal Sailor Moon. And this is also kind of holographic. It's got that cool foil print. Here's a lovely clear file with the same exact print of Eternal Sailor Moon. And I also picked up this really big clear file poster. So this is a clear poster. It's made out of the same material though. I love all the little flowers behind her. It's super, super pretty. Just some stickers of my favorite Sailor Guardians, of course. And I got this whole series of bookmarks. 
These are like clear file bookmarks. They're like plastic bookmarks, but I just love how each of the Sailor Guardians is represented with beautiful flowers that match their character behind them. So we have all the Sailor Guardians represented here. Very, very pretty. So that is where I'm going to end this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you had any questions about the items that I just hauled from Japan, definitely let me know and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching. Jane.